What I see at SeaWorld, animals that seem happy, they're breeding, they're eating. I'm not sure about the lifespans. I know they do their research in the wild, but is there research in the wild 100%? Absolutely not. I've, I've been doing this for 42 years. I've re, re, interviewed researchers all over the world about the whale. You know, and, and I still say that you have to love something to say something. The research and the education that SeaWorld is providing all of us is, is indescribable, and I hate to see that go. Well, Rico, uh, that's Jack Hanna, host of Jack Hanna's Into the Wild. He's a leading defender of SeaWorld and was part of CNN's coverage of the film Blackfish last night, Wednesday. I spoke with the neuroscientist who appears in the documentary Blackfish, and she said that breeding is not an indicator of happiness, saying the orcas are mostly artificially inseminated. So what are the other options for these animals? I spoke with the director of the Shambhala Sanctuary about the difference between a zoo and a sanctuary. A lot of people want to know, well, what's the difference between a zoo and a sanctuary? Well, we came here to the Shambhala Preserve in Acton, California to find out. That's Cyrus and his two ladies, three of the 41 big cats who live here at Shambhala. This is Gar. Who's this guy? This is Zeus. Hey, Zeus. In Shambhala, it's not about us, it's about them. What would you say to those who say, well, this kind of looks like a zoo situation, an animal behind an enclosure. What's the difference? All these guys have to be behind an enclosure, but the reality is we do not want to be in business. We wish we were not a necessity. That's what we are. We don't buy, sell, breed, or trade. We use these animals for no commercial use whatsoever. These animals get confiscated from people that have them illegally. You gotta do something with them. Hopefully they come to a place like us so they don't get bred and they don't become part of the problem again. A kid for his 18th birthday told his mother, and this isn't a story, told his mother he wanted a Lexus or a lion. She bought him a lion. Then they realized this was a big mistake. We are cleaning up other people's messes. That's what we do. You can't return these guys back into the wild, unfortunately. They have no street smarts whatsoever. Zeus has a nice, beautiful enclosure. Shambhala's theme is to give them as much room as possible. We spend money, that's what we do. It costs $1 million a year to run this place. We don't train our animals, we don't work our animals. This is a hands-off facility. It's not about people, it's about the animals at a sanctuary. Zoos are more about bringing in people. We're a necessity and it's all about the animals here. So if people don't see the animals, we don't care. We're kind of proud of that. Well, Rico and you at home discussions like this will continue on this show. Next week, we're going to talk about the fight to free Billy the Elephant.